Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. Today we're going to do a career reading. I'm not going to do the usual one. I feel like it is important to do a career reading and I did have someone request this. So we're going to look at your career and finances for 2024. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to stop by. Also, if you need a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box and there you'll see my link for my Etsy shop, all right? Right now I'm having some weird technical difficulties with Etsy and I'm thinking I might need to just go ahead and do my own website. I love Etsy. Etsy, Etsy has been wonderful, but I'm having like weird issues and it's kind of hard to contact them, all right? So if you've placed an order, please be patient with me because my orders are showing up as delivered and they have not been, all right? Anyway, for Cancer, what I'm getting for you for 2024 at the heart of the reading is you have the designer card, okay? It says, you're being called to tune into your own individuality and express yourself. And it's interesting because as I'm doing your reading, I'm feeling a lot, I'm hearing a lot of like noise and that that is telling me you got to really tune, like have tunnel vision in 2023. Spirit is saying you got to have tunnel vision and ignore the distractions because there are going to be distractions. All right. I feel like I need to say that. I am seeing for 2024 cancer, there is some type of offering coming in. Okay. You do have an offering, but I feel like cancer with this offer, you may be like reliving something in your mind with the memories and the stop, like something about some type of memory, maybe it's trauma, I'm seeing PTSD of something that's happened that may actually try to stop you. You need to push through your fears, all right, in 2024 because there is something coming in, all right? Now, Spirit is saying what you need to focus on is this helper here because there is a helper coming in. I'm going to pull who this helper is, and I'm seeing something about the lion's gate might be significant for you in 2024. There's some type of helper coming during the, the lion's gate I'm getting. Or maybe you've manifested this during the last lion's gate. Let's see. Who's this helper? I'm hearing the name Sh uh, Sheila. I have no idea why. I'm getting Sheila for someone. This Your name might be Sheila, or this person's name may be Sheila. Um, yeah, this is a long-term helper. This one's going to be, this person's going to be around for a long time to help you with stuff. I'm also getting this person's an admirer of your work. All right. For some of you, I'm really getting like an older Ben feeling for you, Cancer. For some of you, there is an older male in your energy that's going to help you. Now I see what you're going to be leaving behind in 2024 is this energy, which I love. This is that energy of like feeling like you're drowning. Um, it says ask for help. But what I'm really drawn to is just like feeling like you're sinking and you're drowning. I feel like you are definitely leaving that behind, Cancer, all right? And I feel like you're going to be exploring something new, like a new possibility, all right? I'm getting a creative endeavor, and for some reason I'm getting that card, something based off your creativity. Like you're getting an, an opportunity to express your creativity or do something on a creative level right here with the Explorer. And the destiny card tells me that this was something destined, all right? So I feel like you guys are going to be stepping into something that you were supposed to be doing and it's destined for you to do in 2024. Now I see what is working for you, Cancer, is we have the justice right here, all right? We have the justice and we have unreliable. And for some reason, I'm getting this card. I'm getting that card where the person's like, like stubborn, like they're not listening. There's something to do with, um, and I'm hearing old habits die hard. Someone was stubborn in your energy, not listening, and they were unreliable. And this is bringing you justice in 2024. Whoever this was, there's, there's someone in your energy that may have done some type of injustice and didn't keep a promise or something. Like they wouldn't listen. Like they wouldn't listen. Who is this? Who is this? They did not want to listen. For cancer. 
Yeah, this was a false flame right here, all right? This could be a Taurus as well, but there's some type of false flame in your energy that may have done work behind your back. I'm also seeing um, the dagger, like tension and fear. You may have been dealing with a situation where there was a lot of anxiety and fear in 2023. It actually works out in your favor, all right? If you do have a uh, court case or something like that, you're going to be the court's going to be in favor of you. I feel like I need to mention that in 2024, all right? Now, I do see right here, <clears throat> Cancer, when it comes to your advice, we have stability right here, all right? It says, it's an excellent time to take action on any money-related ventures. So in 2024, it is an excellent time to act on any money-related ventures, all right? Focus on your stability. You're going to be okay. Um, I am seeing growth. I'm literally seeing in my third eye a, a plant that like goes, whoop, like kind of experiences like a level of growth. There's like a level of growth. And I love that because yes, we do have destiny right here. This was something that was destined to happen. <clears throat> now, in your environment, Cancer, oh, we have someone, we have the hater here. We have the hater. Someone is very upset. And it's interesting because I feel like during this reading, you have to push through like all the noises and stuff like that. And it's happening for a reason. Like this person may be trying to call some type of noise or chaos in your life. I'm getting. Who is this? I feel like it's, I'm not even gonna pull who it is. It's this freaking false flame again. Like, and I'm hearing be humble, sit down. Like spirit is humbling them. They're humbling and I'm hearing, oh, how the mighty falls. Oh, how the mighty falls. Like this person is having, and I'm hearing Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay, so there's someone in your energy and that has been working with working against you in 2023. Maybe they've been working against you for the last five years, maybe even longer. They're having some type of fall in 2024. And I'm hearing the girl can't help it be a female for some of you what's going on here no it's a male we have a male right here but i'm hearing the girl can't help it and we have sudden wealth right here yeah this person right here there's a male in your energy a false flame that's upset because you're having some type of sudden wealth in 2024 all right i'm hearing prozac they might have a prescription for prozac um <clears throat> They need to take their medicine every damn day. Like, they do not need to be skipping. I feel like they don't stay consistent. <clears throat> they need to mix that shit up in some um, juice or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what I'm getting is your overall outcome, Cancer, for 2024. As we have the unfulfilled in the teacher, I feel like you've learned Okay, you walk by the end of 2024, you learned what was keeping you in this unfulfilled energy. Okay, it's like you've learned a lot of lessons. For some of you, you may have like a I'm getting apprenticeship or something like that, or an actual teacher be entering your life to teach you how to avoid being in this energy. All right, and then we also have self love and promise. All right, I feel like you guys are making a promise to yourself in 2024 to love yourself, and this is why you're getting some type of big offer, all right? Like some type of promise, some type of commitment here. This is assured, okay? With the promise card, this is assured. This is assured success in 2024. Now let me pull some more cards for you when it comes to your money, what you need to be doing, money messages. If you would like a career reading, I do offer those on my Etsy shop. All right, I think they're going for 45 at the at the moment. If you want to see what your career looks like in 2024, go ahead and click on that Etsy link. All right, we have your um, heart chakra, and we have wrong way. Okay, I feel like with this, what Spirit is trying to say is your heart is telling you is leading you to the right way because I feel like your heart is telling you that something you're doing, Cancer, is the wrong way and you need to follow your instinct because I'm seeing the instinct card, all right? And I don't know why I keep getting, let's go down to the Holy River. I don't know. 
I'm hearing that. I'm also seeing something to do with someone having to get a jump, a vehicle jumped. This could be confirmation for you if you recently had a uh, vehicle that needed to get jumped. Okay. Our spirit is saying with that message, it's time to get it started. All right. It's time to get it started. <clears throat> yeah. In off this is, this, I cannot say it. In off this is T. I cannot pronounce that word. Don't laugh, guys. <laughs> be your authentic self. Okay. For some reason, I cannot pronounce that today. They want you to be your authentic self. All right. Ignoring who you truly are. Stop ignoring who you truly are. All right. Be authentic. Be authentic. And I'm also getting, I'm hearing, I'm seeing a black sheep. Some of you may be black sheeps in your family, right? Maybe you're not meant to do it the way generations have done it. And you need to embrace that. I know <coughs> it's easy for a reader to say, you know, embrace that. When in reality, we got bills to pay, you know. Yes, do what you got to do, but make sure that you don't give up on your dream. Make time for your dream. You know, maybe you need to sacrifice some luxuries to do what you need to do but at the end of the day by you following your heart and what you feel like you need to be doing what you're meant to do is going to bring you to rags to riches from rags to riches all right let's see i'm also getting shake those haters off because you do have i'm seeing two people trying to protest they're idiots <coughs> i don't i'm seeing the protest card um they're idiots okay we have outdated ways yeah and it's interesting because i'm seeing the protesting card and it's outdated ways you know what spirit is saying that whole protesting day protesting thing that these people are trying to do to you cancer is outdated it's not gonna work they admit it's not gonna they're saying not gonna let let it slide i'm getting it's outdated i don't know why i'm getting that but that's that's what i'm getting at okay also, we have traditional. It says thinking or, hold on, traditional thinking or old ways of doing business is, is no longer working, all right? Cancer, the old way on how you were doing things was not is not working, all right? You're going to be exploring a new way of doing things. I feel like you're already feeling that, Cancer. <clears throat> this is your confirmation. Another message for cancer when it comes to cancer's finances. Negative self-image. Make sure that you don't have a negative self-image right here. All right. It says negative self-image focuses on faults and distor distorts, <laughs> distorts failures, distorts failure and imperfections. All right. So what I'm getting right here is make sure you continue to have a positive self-image. All right don't get down on yourself, especially because I'm getting like a black sheep type five for you, for you cancers and you drink some water. Continue having a positive self image. You are the shit cancer. Okay. I'm also getting something about walking in somewhere with your head held high. And I don't know why I'm seeing someone with down syndrome. This is confirmation, but I'm seeing something to do with someone with down syndrome all right let me pull <clears throat> last messages because i'm starting to do that coughing thing and it's very annoying give me a second mm. okay pull some last messages for you cancer and we're going to close the reading so overall <clears throat> what i'm getting for you cancers as far as your career it looks awesome and it looks awesome as long as you really listen to your intuition on which way to go. And it's and the way to go is the one through your heart, following your heart. It seems like 2024, you're getting blessed for following your heart, all right? Versus how everyone around you have, has done it. And I'm getting, I'm getting this, you know, it's I'm getting this image of I keep well not image. I keep hearing rise and fall. There's going to be a big rise and fall. There's a power shift happening in 2020 between you and a false person in your life, Cancer. All right. Someone's about to have a huge fall and it's, 
not good. We have prosperity lies ahead, Cancer, all right? They want you to know that prosperity lies ahead. <clears throat> Taurus season may be very significant for you, Cancer, in 2024. Yeah. Believe in your good luck, all right? Believe in your good luck, Cancer. You guys got good luck. I'm also getting for someone in particular something about your look. Someone here is about to get some good luck based off of their look. Like, they have something unique. And for some reason, I'm seeing my smile. I like my smile, okay? I feel like my smile is, like, really unique. There's something about someone who has a, a unique look, and you're going to get some, like, luck. Some luck with that. It could be, like, your smile, just like I like my smile. Something about your smile, possibly. Yeah, go wild, go for it, all right? Time to go wild. And I'm literally seeing someone <laughs> taking the bun out of their head and just like letting their hair just kind of go like crazy, just kind of like, you know, pull that bun out your hair and let your hair down and shake it about. They're saying that like loosen up in 2024. Loosen up, trying to be, stop being so like, mm -hmm, like all stiff, all right? Cause you got it, you got it. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for you for your 2024. 2024 looks awesome. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.